All right, let's do this, giraffe rig. Yeah, let's do this. I am so excited for this battle. What a worthy opponent. <laughs> yes, my palindrome twin. We shall win this battle and then take over the world by destroying every last human alive. Then we shall rule what should be ours. We will recruit every single Pokemon to join our kingdom and pronounce ourselves as legendary Pokemon. We shall rule the Pokemon world and make humans our Pokemon. We shall be legendary. <laughs> yeah! Wait, what? What is going on guys? This is Dobbs here bringing you another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm going to rank all 101 unused Pokemon from worst to best. But before we start, I just wanted to say that Amino is sponsoring another video. And guys, as a full-time content creator, these sponsors help me a lot, so I hope you guys don't mind. But yeah, on the Amino app, they added a brand new feature called Stories. And trust me, they are really fun to play around with. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm already making exclusive content for you guys to watch on the Amido app. And this time around, I made a short exclusive top 10 for you guys to watch going over my favorite unused Pokemon sprites. And you know me, I am in love with Generation 2 sprites, so you're going to want to see what number 1 looks like because it just looks awesome. And I'll give you a hint, the unused Pokemon sprite isn't in this video. So after you watch this video, you're definitely going to want to check it out. So if you want to check out my new story, just follow the links down below in the description and look up my name, Ethan Dobbs. I'll have a verification check so you'll know which one to look for. And by following me on Amino, you're definitely supporting me, so I really appreciate it. So yeah, I can't wait to see you guys over there. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. Numbers 101 through 90. Now, out of the 101 unused Pokemon, there were 12 that I just absolutely hated. So, let's get started. Now, for number 101, the worst unused Pokemon is the beta design for Smoochum. And this is my least favorite unused Pokemon design because it's it's just hideous. I, I don't like it. It looks like a shrunken jinx, and it might give me nightmares tonight. For number 100, I chose Kabeen because it looks like a cabbage with a human face on it. It's very disturbing, and if I decide to eat cabbage in real life, I don't want to think about this Pokemon who has a human face for a cabbage. It's, it's just wrong. For number 99, I chose this Pokemon known as Tubomit. And maybe this was supposed to be some kind of branch evolution for Wheaton Bell, so that it could just level up naturally and become this Tubomit thing. And overall, I hate this design. I am glad this got scrapped for the second generation games because there would be a second gen mon that I wouldn't like. It would be this one. For number 98, I chose Boohee. And I just, is, is it like a floating puppy or something? I don't, I don't know what the, I don't, what, what? No, no. For number 97, I chose Namoru, which looks like a baby evolution for Lickitung. And I just gotta say, Lickitung is probably my least favorite Generation 1 Pokemon, so I'm glad they scrapped this baby version of it. And I can only imagine that little hat thing on top of it was all slimy and gross. Disgusting. For number 96, I chose the beta design for Mime Jr. And... Eh, that is just a walking nightmare. If, if I saw that when I was 8 years old playing Pokemon, I would probably not like the game anymore. It, it literally looks like Kirby with a clown face and hat and shoes. I'm glad they decided to make Mime Jr. more of a cutie than this freak. For number 95, I chose the beta version of Happening. And it, it looks like it has a butt on its forehead. It, it looks like a butt. I know it's supposed to be a heart and all, but it just doesn't. It looks wrong. I think Game Freak really nailed the redesign for Happiny because it is one of the cutest Pokemon to date. And I'm glad it doesn't look like this. For number 94, we have the original beta design for Clefairy. And it's a solid start to an alien space-like Pokemon, but it just doesn't look like a Pokemon. It looks more like a Digimon or even a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. So I'm glad Game Freak transformed this design. For number 93, I chose the super weak Pokemon from the Pocket Monsters manga. And honestly, there really isn't anything extravagant about this thing, it's just I neither like it or don't like it. For number 92, I chose Pinsir's Evolution, also known as Plux. And it looks pretty badass, but it doesn't really look that much different than Pinsir itself. 
I mean, honestly, the only thing I noticed is that it has a baby face or a, a mask of some sort. And if it is a mask, it looks like a hollow mask from Bleach. For number 91, I chose the beta design for Igglypuff. And all I have to say is that Igglypuff without hair looks really weird. And lastly, for number 90, for the unused Pokemon that I don't like at all, we have the beta design for Suicune. And come on, just, just look at it. Look at it compared to present day Suicune. The final design for Suicune is 20 billion times better than this thing. And you know me, Pokemon Crystal is my favorite Pokemon game, so you, you can't just like diss Suicune like this. But it is my least hated unused Pokemon for this list. Numbers 89 through 73. Now those previous Pokemon were the Pokemon that I hated. And now for this next bunch, these are the Pokemon that I don't really like. So without further ado, let's get into it. For number 89, I chose Barunda, and it, it looks like a bowling ball, to be honest with you. There really isn't much to form an opinion on, so I just left it in this category. For number 88, I chose the ancient fossil Pokemon that keeps recurring in the Pokemon anime. And just looking at its design, I don't like it. The, the eyelids bother me, and the ears are just, just looks weird to me. But I gotta admit, it does have a cool concept to it. I mean, its legs look like rocket ship engines, so maybe it has something to do with man-made outer space travel or something. For number 87, I chose Papayo, and right off the bat, it reminds me of Weezing. And even though Weezing is one of my favorite Pokemon, I just don't like this version of it, if it even is Weezing. It looks like a bug stuck on a windshield or something with some fog around it. I'm glad this wasn't made into a real Pokemon. For number 86, I chose a beta version of Hitmontop, and just, just no. No. Like, why does it even have feet when it spins like a Beyblade? I mean, it does look like a Pokemon, but just not the best designed Pokemon. For number 85 and 84, I chose the beta designs for River Raid and Octurally. And I see where Game Freak was going with the water gun-like aspect for River Raid and the military tank for Octurally, but with these designs, the idea behind these Pokemon is too obvious. And I much prefer the release design for these Pokemon, but that just might be my nostalgia talking. For number 83, I chose Hanamogura, which, believe it or not, was the Pokemon before Bayleaf came around. And I gotta say, it is a very strange design to say the least. I mean, it looks like a ditto inside a plant. It just doesn't look like anything like Shikorita or Meganium, so I see why they chose to redesign it into the Bayleaf we all know and love today. For number 82, I chose this turtle Pokemon, and it's just too basic. I know we have Pokemon like Voltor, which is just a Pokeball with eyes on it, but at least it's unique. This is just a turtle with, like, blue skin. Yeah, I don't like it. For number 81, we have the beta design for Ivysaur. And just like Suicune, Ivysaur is one of my favorite Pokemon, and how could they do this to him? Like, I, it looks like a melting plant that's withered. I'm so glad they decided to change it to the Ivysaur we know today. For number 80, we have this seal Pokemon. And just like the turtle Pokemon, it's way too basic for me. I know we have seal, which is literally a seal Pokemon, but it, it, I mean, it looks like more of a Pokemon than this thing, maybe. I don't know. Nostalgia. For number 79, we have the beta version of Blaziken. And in this version of it, it doesn't look like a fighter. It looks more like a flyer. This design definitely lacks the furiousness that Blaziken has as a fighting Pokemon. But on the other hand, if Blaziken was a fire flying type, I could definitely see this as a design for that Pokemon. For number 78, we have Crocky, and if this was actually a Pokemon, I think it would be the most scariest one of them all. And I have to say, Misty would hate this Pokemon if she came across it. It looks like an evil Bug-type Pokemon. It would just not be a good Pokemon to come into existence, or would it? For number 77, we have Quillfish's Evolution. And I gotta admit, it's a pretty good design, but I think it's unnecessary. I think Quillfish is a good standalone Pokemon. But on the other hand, it's on the tail end of my dislike Pokemon. So, I mean, I kinda like it, I kinda don't. I'm more neutral for it, which is the same case for the next four Pokemon on this list. For number 76, we have Puchicorn, which is a baby evolution for Ponyta. And just like Quillfish's evolution, I think it's unnecessary. I don't think Ponyta needs a baby evolution. And that is literally the only reason why I have it in this category. Other than that, I love its design and I think it's super cute. Oh, and also I found it interesting that this baby Pokemon is a normal type, which is pretty cool. 
for number 75, I chose the beta version of Cleffa. And it looks almost exactly the same as the final version of Cleffa, but it has a horn thing on top of his head. Which makes it look kind of odd, but it definitely makes it look more like an alien. Honestly, this design or the present design could work either way. I, I just feel like I like the normal design because I grew up with it. So my nostalgia strikes again. For number 74, I chose Hanii, which I'm just now realizing is the beta version of Mantine. Honestly, at first glance, I thought it was like Togetic, an angel type of Pokemon, not a fish. But yeah, if this did become its own Pokemon, I probably wouldn't care that much for it, unless it had a really cool origin to it. It's just a heavenly looking fish that really deceives you. There's probably nothing extraordinary about it. And finally, for number 73, for the Pokemon that I don't really like, is the beta design for Spearow. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. I like how it's all fat and buff looking. But I'm gonna go back to my roots with Spiro. I think it's an unnecessary Pokemon to begin with because we already have Pidgey. We don't need two normal flying type Route 1 Pokemon. That's just like such a boring typing to have. But on the other hand, I do see what Game Freak was doing with diversity. So I'm more just meh with this Spiro. Which is why it's last for my don't like list. Number 72 through 51. Now this next set of unused Pokemon are Mons that I like, but don't really care for. So let's get into it. For number 72, I chose the Unidentified Unknown from the second Pokemon movie. And I think it's a cool concept that there's unknown for different languages, but it gets kind of redundant. So I'm fine with the unknown that we already have. For number 71, I chose the beta design for Meryl. And it's cool to know that Meryl was originally a pink Pokemon, but you just can't take the blue coloring from Pika Blue. For number 70, I chose the beta design for Delibird. And again, it's a cool jab to Santa Claus, but I just I'm not very crazy for it. For number 69, we have the beta version of Leafeon. Yeah, that's right, Leafeon was originally in the second generation games, which is kind of a shocker because it didn't reappear until generation four. But yeah, it's a cool Pokemon, but you know, I would rather have other Pokemon higher on this list than this one. For number 68 and 67, we have the beta design for Ladybug and Mitsuboshi. And I can't really tell if this is supposed to be the beta design for Ladian or just a counterpart to Ladybug. But yeah, I think it's a cool concept to have a green Ladybug and a red Ladybug. But you know, it's not that cool. For number 66, I chose this Cactus Pokemon. And honestly, it reminds me of Pokey from Super Mario Bros. And I think it'd be cool to have a Pokey type Pokemon in Pokemon. And I'll just leave it at that. For number 65, I chose the beta design for Noctile. And could you imagine Ash having a shiny version of this? It, it just looks so menacing. And I would have been cool if this was a present design for Noctile. It, it looks good. For number 64 and 63, I chose Twins and the beta design for Draffery. Yes, that's its name, Twins. And I honestly couldn't tell if Twins was the pre-evolution for Draffery or not, so I just kind of mixed them together. But yeah, I think it's a cool concept with the Pokemon being palindromes and all, even though Twins isn't a palindrome. But anyways, I would have definitely welcomed the pre-evolution idea for Draffrig. But I wouldn't want to give up the Chain Chomp-like tail that Draffrig has. That thing is too notorious. For number 62, we have Animon. And this is what happens when a Digimon comes into the Pokemon realm. They just melt and scream like this. But seriously, what even is this thing? What was it meant to be? I, I am super curious. Let me know in the comments on what you think. For number 61, we have Farfetch's evolution. Yes, the Pokemon we've been wanting an evolution for all these years actually had its own evolution back in the day before it got scrapped. And you know, it really defeats the purpose of what Farfetch is. It's supposed to be a joke Pokemon. But on the other hand, I really wouldn't mind. For number 60, I chose Jagu. And it's a really solid Pokemon design. It, I mean, could you imagine this thing being a pseudo-legendary? A shark pseudo-legendary Pokemon would be pretty epic. For number 59 and 58, I chose Gong and another beta design for Hitmontop. And I had a dilemma with this one because I love the design for Gong, but I'm not a big fan for the beta design for Hitmontop. So it kind of equaled out into the neutral zone of the categories. For number 57, I chose the beta design for Ariados. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this design a lot more than the present one. It makes it look more like a dark type, because I swear, Ariados was a dark type at one point. There's no way it wasn't. It would have been a cool type combination being a dark bug type if it was. For number 56, I chose Para, the pre-evolution for Paris. And I welcome this pre-evolution. I feel like it's very cute and it fits. Paris does fit the role as a mid-evolution and you know, Para is a little baby. But at the same time, I'm not too fussed that it didn't make it through. 
for number 55 and 54, I chose Rinrin and Bellrun. And I just gotta say, I love cat Pokemon, and I love Red Rin's name. And honestly, if the sound typing was a thing, I believe these Pokemon would be a sound and dark type. So maybe in the future, if the sound typing becomes a thing, these Pokemon will come back and be a Pokemon. But at the same time, this might be the beta version of Purloin and Lyper. For number 53, I chose the beta design for Pichu. And I think it's really solid. It's a, it's a fat Pichu and it gives me nostalgia about the fat Pikachu. And that's all I have to really say about it. For number 52, I chose Turbin. And I can't believe the Ash and Slowbro shell its own Pokemon. I'm just curious on how this was gonna play out. Like, was Shelder gonna evolve into this thing and then like attach to Slowpoke? Either way, I don't really care it didn't become a Pokemon. And finally, for number 51, for the Pokemon that I like but not crazy for, is the beta design for Politoed. And I think it's a really cool design. I mean, the little spiral on his stomach is an homage to Poliwhirl the Poliwag. But at the same time, I'm not too crazy for it because I I love the current design for Politoed as well. So either way, I would have been fine with both designs. And that is why it is the last of the Pokemon that I'm not too crazy for. Numbers 50 through 16. Now finally, we're at the unused Pokemon that I like. So without further ado, let's get right into it. For number 50, I chose Hinatsu, which is a baby evolution for Duduo, and I think it works really well because Duduo seems like a Pokemon that would be a middle evolution. But what I don't get is that it has three heads because, you know, Duduo only has two heads and Dudrio has three, but what happens to the third head during the second evolution? I don't know, but I like it. For number 49, I chose this hybrid of Suicune and Raikou. And to be honest, I think it's a cool looking Pokemon. I like it a lot. It really makes me wonder if this was a beta design for Suicune or Raikou, or if Game Freak was thinking about introducing Fusion to Pokemon Gold and Silver. It's really interesting. For number 48, I chose Bomb Shakar. And at first, I didn't really like the unused Pokemon, but after looking at it some more, it's it's a freaking fire type seal Pokemon with a fireball on its nose. It's super random, but badass. For number 47, I chose Pootie. And like you probably guessed, it's a pre-evolution for Growlithe. And I, I love it. It's so cute. It's, it's a little tiny doggy. Would have been a great Pokemon. For number 46, I chose Gorilla Moo. And it's basically a gorilla wearing a hat. And I don't think we've ever had a Pokemon wearing some cosmetic item. Well, besides Machamp and his little belt thing. But a Pokemon wearing a hat naturally would be pretty cool. So I like it. For number 45, I chose Gyopin. And yes, it's a pre-evolution for Goldie. And as crazy as it sounds, I, I love the idea. I just, I just imagine this fish as a very tiny little creature. Maybe even as the smallest Pokemon to ever exist. Which would have been pretty cute, and I would have loved to have this Pokemon. For number 44, I chose Mekon. And just look at it, it's so cute. I mean, Volpes doesn't need a pre-evolution, but dude, like, this is just next level cuteness. It's an unnecessary baby evolution, but I would've wanted it to happen anyways. For number 43, I chose Godzilla, which is probably the beta version of Larvitar. And it's a solid design. I mean, I love Larvitar, so I'm sure I would've loved this Pokemon if it wasn't Larvitar. And I'll leave it at that. For number 42, I chose the beta design for Torchic. And I'm gonna be honest, I actually like this design more than the current one. I just like the idea of Torchic being inside of an egg and walking around. That is just too cute. And I also like how on top of the egg, it's like a little nest of some sort. I think it's a really solid design. I'm surprised they didn't use it. For number 41, we have this deer Pokemon. And this could be the early version of Stantler or even Xerneas. But either way, I think a deer Pokemon would have been really cool in Generation 1. For number 40 through 38, we have Mambo 1, Ikari, and Grotes. And originally, these Pokemon were in the category above this one, the Pokemon that I love. But I noticed something that maybe not like the final evolution as much. You see, originally when I saw Grotes, I thought it just had a huge nose and that little thing on the bottom was his mouth. But after zooming in and seeing it in more detail, I didn't notice that it had his mouth on the top of his huge jaw. And so it made me go from loving it to, eh, I don't really like it. But nonetheless, I think the three Pokemon are a solid evolution line, and I would have still loved to see them in Pokemon. For number 37, I chose the beta design for Apom. And when I was making this video, I was only trying to use the beta designs that look a lot different from their final designs. And with this Pokemon, it just barely got in, just barely. But yeah, seeing Apom with black fur and not the creepy smile made it look a lot cooler in my opinion. And I would have welcomed this design if it was an option. 
for number 36, I chose the beta design for Entei. And even though I prefer the present design for Entei, I still think this looks pretty solid. This could definitely be a fire Pokemon design in the future, like they just, just use it. For number 35, I chose the beta design for Sneasel. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not know this was a beta design for Sneasel until I looked up its name, because it just looks so different than the final design of Sneasel. But yeah, either way, I feel like this would be a very good baby evolution for Sneasel, or just its own Pokemon. Could be like a cool normal type or something. For number 34 through 32, we have Kurusu, Aqua, and Akaria. And believe it or not, this was the original water starter line for Pokemon Gold and Silver. And I just love this evolution line, like, I, I don't really know what animal they're based on, but it looks really good. And it makes me wonder if these unused Pokemon led to the design of Populo, Brion, and Primarina in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Either way, they're really solid Pokemon designs. For number 31, I chose Elebaby. And like you probably guessed, it is the beta design for Elekid. And it's a great Pokemon design. It probably referenced some kind of battery of some sort with that pointy head and that halo around it. But yeah, I like it. For number 30 through 28, I chose Hanaguma, Volbear, and Dynabear. And if you didn't know, this was the original Firestarter line for Pokemon Gold and Silver. And to me, a bear Pokemon that's a fire type sounds awesome. Game Freak really needs to revisit some of these designs and just make them new Pokemon in like Generation 8. I just hate that they're going to waste because I just, I like them. For number 27, I chose Marin. And if you didn't know, this Pokemon was on the cover for the Magical Pokemon Journey manga and was drawn by a fan for the Pikachu's friend contest. And even though this Pokemon isn't legitimate and was only used once for a manga cover, I still think this unused Pokemon looks great. And I'm disappointed that Game Freak didn't act on making this Pokemon a thing. It just looks awesome. For number 26 through 24, I chose Beta Hoppit, Beta Skiploom, and Wanako. And I love these Pokemon designs. I love how they play with the colors of green, yellow, and pink. And you know me, I love the sprites of Generation 2, and with these sprites, they're just on point. And overall, I definitely like the beta designs more than the current ones. With Wanako, I like it as much as Jump Pluff. They're both cool mods. For number 23, I chose this Capsule Monsters Pokemon. And I know, it's supposed to be a Nidorino, but it doesn't look like a Nidorino at all. To me, this looks like a Pokemon at its very basics. This is what a Pokemon should look like, and what all Pokemon should be inspired by. It's a very simple design, but I like it a lot. And it was very close to being in the category of the Pokemon that I love. For number 22, I chose the beta design for Porygon 2. And I didn't even know this was Porygon 2 when I first saw it because it just looks so random. It's like a lion thing. But after I found out that it was Porygon 2, it made me even like it even more because it's just so different from its first evolution, which is awesome. Maybe in the near future, we'll see a branch evolution for this Porygon design. Maybe call it the prototype Porygon 2 evolution. That would be really cool. For number 21, I chose the beta design for Raikou, and I don't really have much to say about it, I just think it's a really cool design, and I like it a lot. For number 20 and 19, I chose Wolfman and Warwolf, and these two unused Pokemon were originally supposed to be Ice types, and I just don't know why Game Freak decided to scrap these Pokemon, I mean, we need more Ice types, and these two would've been great for that. Maybe we'll see a similar design in the future, I I'm just waiting for Game Freak to just plop one of these designs in a future game without altering it whatsoever. Just boom, there it is, you have it now, Wolfman. And lastly, for the Pokemon that I like, for number 18, I chose Beetle Baby. And I gotta be honest with you guys, at first, I thought this was a baby evolution for Ditto, because it looks exactly like Ditto with like a little tooth hanging out. But after looking at his typing, it is a poison type, so it's probably a Grimer baby evolution. But hey, this design itself might solidify the whole theory around Ditto becoming a Grimer and a Muck. But anyways, overall, this design is just awesome. I would have loved to have this as a Grimer pre-evolution. And could you imagine how the Alolan Beetle Baby would have looked like? It would just be like a little rainbow, like, gooey thing. It would have been awesome. And that is why it is at the very tip of the Pokemon that I like. The Top 16. Now, finally, we're going to go over the Pokemon that I love. So without further ado, let's get into it. For number 17 and 16, I chose Katora and Raytura. And man, these Pokemon are extremely cute. They're like little fat electric tigers of some sort. But I see why they scrapped these Pokemon because of Raikou being practically the same thing, but with a legendary status slapped on it. But regardless, I love these Pokemon designs, and I would love to see them in a future Pokemon game. 
For number 15, I chose this unknown cat statue. And this may be a far-fetched unused Pokemon, but it, it looks like a Dragon-type cat Pokemon. And could you imagine a cat Dragon-type Pokemon? That would be the cutest and most epic thing ever. I just love the concept, and I really hope Game Freak acts on it in the future. For number 14, I chose Gorochu. And if you didn't know, it was actually confirmed that Raichu was going to evolve into a Pokemon called Gorochu. But due to game balancing issues, Game Freak decided not to include the evolution. Which, you know, is kind of a bummer because I would have loved an evolution for Raichu. Maybe in the future, Game Freak will finally add that fourth evolution line and we'll see Gorochu in a future game. I feel like a feigned Pikachu evolution with horns would look badass. For numbers 13 and 12, I chose Norawara and Kionpin. And in all likeliness, this is probably the beta versions of Shuppet and Banette. But even if it is, I just love how these Pokemon look in Generation 2 style. Especially Kionpin because it looks like a ghost panda that's going to haunt you. It's just a really cool design for a Pokemon. For number 11 through 9, I chose Kokona, Kasanagi, and Kasanagi's Evolution. And these Pokemon designs are great. I mean, you can't beat a bug wearing a tuxedo. And if these mods were going to be the original bug fighting type Pokemon, that would have been even great. Crater. Could you imagine getting destroyed by a boxing cockroach Pokemon wearing a tuxedo? That would be the pinnacle of Pokemon. For number 8, I chose Gion. And interestingly enough, this Pokemon's index ID is 1, which is right after Rhydon, who is 0. So basically, this is the second Pokemon to ever be created. And to me, it has a very solid design for such an early Pokemon. It really sets the tone for all the Pokemon that were made after it, and I love it. For number 7, I chose the beta design for Kingdra, and I am just in love with this design. It makes Kingdra look more like a dragon than what it looks like right now. The wings, the face, just everything about it just looks so awesome. And what they should have done is make this a male counterpart to Kingdra and have the current design as a female counterpart. I feel like that would have been a really cool concept because I just hate that the design went to waste. For number 6, I chose this elephant Pokemon. And you probably don't know this about me, but elephants are one of my favorite animals. And I've always wanted to see an elephant Pokemon. I mean, I know we have Panthe and Dawn fan, but they're just not giant like they should be. So hopefully we see this unused Pokemon design come back and become a legendary of some sort. I think that would just be amazing. For number 5 and 4, I chose Manja and Gerondra. And I just love these unused Pokemon. They have so much personality to them. You just kind of wonder what they look like under their hair. Like Manja is some kind of Cyclops and the Gerondra is some like just smiling guy with can't even see his eyes. It's like, how does he even see? But yeah, I love these Pokemon and it sucks that they become a thing. For number three, I chose Dragon 4. And yes, that is its name. It's probably the fourth design for a Dragon Pokemon. And in all likeliness, it's probably for Charizard. But still, I love this design. It looks really solid. It is like the definition of what a Dragon Pokemon should look like. And that's all I have to really say about it. I, I freaking love it. For number two, I chose Konya, which is the unreleased baby version of Meowth. And if you didn't know, Persian is one of my favorite Pokemon ever, and seeing a baby, baby version of it would be amazing. And just look at this thing, it is so cute, it has like floating coins above its head. Not to mention that it's asleep, just like chilling. But yeah, this is my second favorite unused Pokemon, and I would have loved seeing it in Pokemon Gold and Silver. It would have definitely made those games even more awesome. And finally, after going through 101 unused Pokemon, my favorite one of all time is the beta version of Poliwhirl. Yes, you heard that right. It is a freaking beta version of Poliwhirl. And really, the only difference between the beta version and the present design for Poliwhirl is the crown that it's wearing. Yeah, you heard that right. All it took for me to like Poliwhirl the most was the addition of his crown. Because I just think it gives it so much personality. It, like, it reminds me of a lazy king of some sort. I just think it looks awesome. And that is why it is my favorite unused Pokemon of all time. And there you go, my ranking on all 101 unused Pokemon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you did because I appreciate it a ton. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I upload pretty frequently now being a full-time YouTuber and all. And don't forget to ring that bell because that notifies you even more. And if you want to be even more awesome, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and even the Amido that I just promoted because all those platforms are super cool. And finally, for the question of the day, which unused Pokemon is your favorite? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments because I'm going to read those comments and reply to them and be like, whoa, that's crazy. And yeah, that's all for this video and I will see you guys next time. See ya.